Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Planet. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Amazon online assessment process for software development engineering roles step by step. I recently received this official invitation from Amazon and I'm sharing all the important details, tips and even here is the official email I received from Amazon. Once you get this email, you will have exactly seven days to complete your online assessment. So make sure you don't delay. Amazon strongly recommends that you take this test on a laptop or device desktop, not on a mobile device because some features won't work properly on phones. Also, before you begin the test, make sure you have a stable and fast internet connection and you are in a quiet and distraction free place and you have set aside at least two hours of uninterrupted time. These steps are really important to avoid any technical problems during the assessment. Before we continue this, I just want to quickly share something important with you all. I recently completed the Tata Data Analytics Internship as the one powered by the Tata Groups and I have uploaded the entire video playlist on my channel. It includes everything from registration to certification and I have explained every concept in a simple and clear way and I posted submission videos task submission videos and if you are really interested in earning a valuable certificate in AI powered data analytics this is a golden opportunity it's a from reputed company like Tata and trust me this certification holds value you can proudly add it to your LinkedIn profile and it might catch the attention of recruiters or hiring managers because it's a job simulation based just like real work completing this internship will definitely move you one step closer to your career goals also just a small story about my channel i started this channel about five five or six months ago and not with the intention of uh, monetization it i just wanted to share useful information but later i felt i could also work towards becoming financially independent so i began posting internship details job experiences and study related content but honestly i wasn't asking viewers to like or subscribe in my earlier videos i didn't even add any stickers to subscribe like so the reach was limited but recently I learned that unless you ask, people often forget to support your work. So if you found this video helpful or genuine and you feel I am putting in real efforts, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot and helps me bringing more valuable content like this. And all right, now let's continue with our main topic. Let me now share my personal experience with the Amazon online assessment. Although Amazon mentions that the test takes around 2 hours, it actually took me nearly 2.5 to 3 hours to complete the entire assessment. That's because the test is divided into 4 main sessions and the 2 coding sections are the most time consuming part. For coding, they gave me around 80 to 90 minutes in total and once you click on the assessment link, it redirects you to HackerRank uh, where the coding questions are hosted. You will be asked to choose your preferred programming language and they offer options like Java, Python, C, Ruby and even multiple versions of Java like Java 7 and Java 8 which is pretty useful depending on your comfort and apart from the two coding problems there are the three three more scenario based or simulation modules which test how how you would handle real work simulation at amazon each of these sections has a set time limit though it's not fixed like a timer for all it depends on the section type how many questions you can solve and after completing all questions uh, you answered only you redirect into other sessions if you want more important information about Amazon or tips and interviews, they provided links in mail. You can click and you explore the links. Then you get some information about Amazon exam or assessment. And also one important thing that's no web ads, webcam access or live procreating during the test. But don't get the wrong idea just because there's no camera doesn't mean you can cheat. The browser is under Amazon's control. I strongly feel that they use internal monitoring to detect if someone switches tabs or open a new window. In my case, I tried switching once and later realized the system might have flagged it. At first, I thought it was just a minor glitch, but then I got a pop-up alert 
that's when i understood there are definitely tracking everything so be careful focus on the assessment and don't try to switch to another tab it's not worth the sessions in amazon assessment but the real timing of this assessment versus what amazon actually tell us in this instructions amazon provided estimated time limits for each section like uh, 30 minutes 90 minutes for coding like and 7 minutes for work simulation and 6 minutes for situational judgment questions and so on but honestly in reality it takes more time and a lot more let me now coding section first session is coding session there is a two coding question it will redirect into hacker rank when you click on assessment link where you select your programming languages like java python or c it provided options and you select uh, your interested programming language in hacker rank and you can write your code and run and click on submit before you are uh, uh, running the code uh, after running the code you have to click on submit then only your answer is successfully saved these are strictly timed and about 80 to 90 minutes total you must submit within the time or your answers won't be this is the screen that appeared after i completed the coding challenge which was officially timed for 70 minutes now look at the other sections listed here working at amazon estimated 30 minutes untimed means it, it doesn't have a fixed time to complete this section same as other two sessions also your engineering work style questions estimated seven minutes and your work style questions estimated six minutes but let me be real with you even though they show this as short in my experience each section took more time than what's mentioned here and you will get 20 to 30 scenario based questions in each section and when you are carefully reading understanding and choosing your answer it naturally takes longer even if it says seven minutes i took much more for some parts and so based on my experience this entire test including short breaks and took me nearly three hours to finish also i want to share one of the where a customer raised an issue with an api i built and asked about how long it would take to fix and then they showed a sample replay and asked how much i agree with it whether the response is uh, correct or in the, in the polite way or not there we have to agree like strongly agree agree disagree we have to choose one option from three but honestly i couldn't fully agree with the response they showed it didn't seem polite or complete even enough for, enough from your developer side so i answered based on what i felt was professional and honest we have to choose our option based on this and so be ready these questions really test your thinking ethics and work style and would you like if you are a btech student whether you are in first year second year third year or even from different branch you are eligible to apply for the tata data analytics internship i have already posted a full playlist on this topic from registration to certification and everything explained step by step so if you are interested in earning a valuable certificate from tata one of the most reputated company in india go check it out on my channel thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you feel this video had real effect genuine experience and helpful content if it truly connected with you then please show a little gratitude by simply hitting the like share and subscribe buttons and this is a small channel and your support really helps me to grow and continue creating more useful content for students like you and thank you so much for watching Please subscribe to Study Planet.